Math 151, we're looking at page 107, that's section 2.3, and we're doing problem number 30 right now. And what we're asked to do is find the limit of this function. Whoops, sorry about that. Limit of this function as x approaches negative 4. And if I just try and do direct substitution right now, I'm going to be dividing by 0. So I can't do that. But let me try and manipulate this a bit so I can. Notice I have this radical. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll multiply by its conjugate. Uh, and actually, I'm, I'm multiplying by a 1, but I'm going to use its conjugate to make the 1. So um, x squared plus 9 plus 5. So, um, and I did that so that this will get, I will no longer have that, um, that radical up there. So let me do this multiplication. Um, this times this is just something squared, uh, square rooted times itself square rooted. So it just basically gets rid of the square root. So limit um, as x approaches negative 4 of, this times this is, is x squared plus 9. Negative 5 times positive 5 is, is negative 25. And then my middle term drops out because I have negative 5 of those, positive 5 of those. And then the denominator is... Uh, x plus 4 times that conjugate. I'm not going to combine those. Because what I'm hoping is hap will happen is that that x plus 4 will end up canceling out. All right, so I'm here. Uh, 9 minus 25, that's six, negative 16. So this is the same as x squared minus 16, uh, which is difference of squares. I can factor this now. So this is x plus 4 times x minus 4. So what I did was uh, just now is I just combined those, that became this, and then I factored it to this. Um, so let me, it's getting a little messy, so let me just rewrite, gather up what I have right now. x plus 4 times x minus 4, that's divided by x plus 4 over all this. So then now, um, I notice that x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 is 1. So notice conveniently how that did away with my uh, dividing by 0 when I plug in negative 4. So what I'm left with now is a limit of this, x minus 4 over square root x squared plus 9 oop, plus 5. So let me try some direct uh, substitution. Here, so I'm going to plug in that negative 4. So negative 4 minus 4. Down here I have negative 4 squared uh, plus 9. Plus 5. So that's a negative 8 up here. Negative 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. Uh, square root of 25 is 5. And it's still plus 5. So a negative 8 tenths, which is the same as negative 4 fifths.